how are we supposed to find the blacksmith? It says locate the blacksmith. Is there someone around here that we're not seeing? I am not too sure. There is something interesting that's kind of... It's very interesting. It's like, it's like a reflection in the water. Oh, well here you guys are. How you guys are doing? Welcome back to the next episode of Isles of Adalar. In the last episode, I'll probably do a little thing at the beginning, like previously on this. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, so we went around finding these three people, and these guys are going to help us along the way. And where we need to go is if we check the map here, we need to head all the way up to the boat nest. so we need to find the boat nest. so that is what we're going to do we're going to head up in the direction that we need to go so if these guys would obviously get out of the way here then we can start heading in that direction but how are you guys doing today you guys are having a great time you guys are doing all right saw the first episode got a lot of a lot of good stuff so that's actually really good so thank you for checking out the first episode oh and the uh the boats there are some collider issues that i heard from the discord server because i asked about the boats um being being able to like walk through them so there is an issue so hopefully they do get around to fixing that and with these if i can take them um if it'll let me. Will it even let me take them? I do not know. E. Yeah, it says E. So there we are. So we'll harvest that stuff. Is there any others up top? We can't really jump to those. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue on. Um, obviously, I don't want to talk to you. Thank you very much. I wanted to harvest if I could. Um, also, I want to make sure we're headed in the right direction. Yeah, we're headed in the right direction already. Just wanted to make sure that we were good and that we were in the correct direction that we needed to go. So, so there was an update. They said that they patched uh, some things and probably fixed some things that were potential bugs and whatnot. So, hopefully the game is a little bit smoother. We do have some enemies up here. Um, let's go to six so we can actually, you know, fight these dudes. These mushroom things coming up. Well, hello there, mushroom monsters. Go ahead and get rid of you. We can do that. Okay. Now we are able to lock on to, um enemies so that is interesting there okay so let's do t so we take everything so we'll go ahead and do that and then was there anything over here yes yeah, so we'll hit t and just take everything all right t and then what about this one t go ahead and take everything it's actually pretty nice though so you don't have to like go into because normally you would have to like press e and then it would go into whatever's there and then you can like just take all. So the the T being able to just take everything without having to go in, I think that's kind of nice. So you're not having to do a whole lot of um, back and forth. Go ahead and put our sword away. Let's change up the views here for a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely. Again, this game is really interesting. It is really fun so far. It, yeah, as long as it's being updated and fixing any bugs, that's actually really good. Um, but yeah, I do plan to do like most of, well not really most, I plan on doing everything that there is to this game because again, this map is pretty huge if you think about it. This map is pretty huge for being a campaign. Uh, I don't know how far the campaign goes, but if it's like this entire map, then that's actually a lot to, uh, that's a lot to discover. So a lot of interesting stuff, a lot of different areas that we can go. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy this, um, this series and hope you guys 
enjoy everything that there is to this game because this game is pretty dang cool and again it is still early access and um another thing that i learned is that they do plan on doing a console release um once it is out of early access and once the game is progressively uh further fur further along let's see using the left mouse button while blocking will perform a uh, perf perform a parry if you parry while an em while an enemy is about to hit you it will knock them back about uh, knock them off balance and leave an opening for a counter attack so yep we kind of know a little bit about that um, using our shield to protect ourselves and doing uh, other things there is a thing in the background there that kind of looks like a fence in the background kind of looks interesting if you guys see that keep in mind that your enemies can parry you as well it's better to kick a blocking enemy than to continue attacking that is true that is true so we do have some enemies up here so let's go ahead and swap around here and take out our our sword here and see what we got because we do have some enemies up here believe so attack these these are people so it looks like we're saving another person here so that's good another human being if you will <clears throat> all right come on there we go can we take anything from you Yes, we can. So we'll go ahead and take everything from you. And what about this one over here? We'll go ahead and loot you. We'll go ahead and put our sword away. Was there someone else? I thought we saved someone else. Maybe not. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh well. Unless it was one of our people that just went further on ahead and started attacking. Possibly. Possibly. There is something up there that I see. It does look rather interesting. Uh, let's see. So that's telling us to talk. Let's see. So we do have something up over there that does look interesting. Not quite sure what that could be. Um, but I guess we'll eventually, eventually get around to that if I can actually get around my people that are following me. My my fellow followers. <clears throat> okay, let's see. See what we got here. There is a lot to uh, discover. Director, you notice a large banner burning at the top of the ridge line ahead. Yes, we do notice that there. The others clearly recognize it and start to run ahead towards the banner. Of course they go on ahead without me. How dare they? How dare they go on ahead, Ma how, how dare they go on ahead without me? What the heck? <clears throat> the banner is from our ship. The captain most likely crafted that beacon in order um, in order to get our attention. We should investigate it immediately. Alrighty, sounds fine. Sounds fine. Let's go on ahead and investigate the crime. The crime scene. No, I'm just kidding. It's not a crime scene. But you never know. It could be. could very well be. could be a trap. It's a trap. It's always a trap, isn't it? It's always a trap. So, you always want to proceed with caution. Location discovered. Souvenirs camp. Very interesting. There is a lot. Definitely a lot of stuff. There's a big tree. A lot of big trees. Alright, well, let's go ahead and check out this, this thing over here. What do we got? A human female approaches you, and she seems full of energy and excited to see you. Uh, her presence does not come off as threatening. Xana. Uh, Xana Firmhall. I'm Xana Firmhall, captain of the Conveyor. <clears throat> a uh, conveyor or whatever is left of it a strange magical power pulled in our ship force forcing us to crash against the shore 
Uh, I can see you've met some of the passengers who were aboard my ship. However, I believe there are still more survivors that are not present. Uh, if you can find the rest and escort them back to me, I will see it. Um, I will see to it that you are rewarded. Cool. So basically, she wants us to find the rest of the survivors and then let her know as a reward. Pretty interesting. Go ahead and harvest the stuff here. Uh, we talk to you. Is there anything you want to say? You wish to speak uh, speak with me. What do you think? What do I think of what? The infirm hall. Uh, she has the motivation and drive to be a good leader, but isn't calculated enough in her decision making. I've noticed a tendency to get caught in the moment of the adventure. Very interesting. Uh, tell me about your background. I come from a fam- of course she's walking into- that's kind of funny. <clears throat> um, I come from a family of gladiators, uh, so physical confirmation is something I was always uh, a, a, accustomed to. Uh, various members of my family experience great fame and fortune, however. Uh, even as a young child, I could see their- that their careers usually ended in uh, crippling injury or death. We weren't slaves, so no one was forcing them to fight, but the glory and attention became too addicting that they couldn't determine uh, when to retire uh, before tragedy uh, befell, befell them. I decided it would be better for me to use my skills as a traveling mercenary. It gives me the opportunity to evaluate my chances and success um, chances of success and survival before making a commitment. Thus far, it has served me well. Um, so, let's travel together again. So, definitely, if we wanted someone to come with us, we could. Let's talk to you. Can we talk to you? Uh, you've returned. I believe there are still more survivors that are not present. Escort them here safely. Okay, so pretty much, yeah, she just wants us to do the things. Let's talk to you. There's something you want to speak to me about. What do you think? Think of definitely an adventurous one there. Uh, sailing a ship suits her well. Um, let's see. What about the other people? He's just another hustler. Not a lot of depth to him. Interesting. Let's learn about the other people, shall we? His presence commands uh, respect despite his selfish tendencies. And this the last one. Uh, that hunt is a pompous intellectual, if I've ever seen one. Very interesting. Uh, there's not much I can tell. I'm a blacksmith that takes pride in my work. I was traveling in hopes to find an experienced master to practice under and improve my skills. Uh, it doesn't seem likely I will find that on uh, this island since there are no hints to civilization yet, only death. Very interesting. Let's talk to you and see if there's anything. Let's see, what do you think of? I find her sense of adventure and personality to be a little childish, however, anyone who claims she is not dependable is a liar. Very interesting. As someone who was born in wealth, he can't understand what it is like to struggle and overcome advisory like myself. Uh, but despite that, he's extremely intellectual, or intelligent, and useful. What about Alan? Or Aland? Um, Aland is another profit-minded individual. I would definitely hire him as an armed guard when moving products. <clears throat> what about you? Honestly, he's not very pleasant. A very antisocial man. With his skill set, uh, we could have been able to make some serious money together. What a shame. <clears throat> I was raised. Uh, I was raised poor in a large city. After watching my father destroy his body performing manual labor for his employers, I realized that I need to find a way out of uh, my situation, or else I would face the same fate. It's embarrassing to admit this, but in my younger years, I did result in criminal activity in order to make a decent living, but once I was no longer considered with, um, 
concerned with purely survival, I invested that money into uh, legiment, legiment business and trade. Uh, Zan seemed like an outlet to open up more uh, trade opportunities. At least she did until we stumbled into this mess. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. There was a little bit of a glitch there where he moved, so I noticed that. Um, let's see, where is... There was one other person. I think it was... I think it was you. I don't remember if I talked to you about everyone. Uh, let's see. She has a motivation to drive to be a good leader, but isn't calculated enough in her decision making and no tendency to get caught in the moment of adventure. Uh, I wouldn't mind him to be my backup in a fight, but he is quite efficient in uh, negotiations and trade. He could probably talk his way out of most situations. Let's see, a dull man with poor social skills. I have him service my equipment from time to time, but that is the extent of our relationship. Uh, he has um, superior, see, superiority complex that is intolerable at times, but his skills are an asset, uh, especially in a situation like the one we have found ourselves in. Very interesting. <clears throat> so hold on, so I could have him travel with me, right? Let's travel together again. Lead the way, I won't be far behind. Cool, okay, so we can have him follow us. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Let's check our map. So we are at the, the base camp, and we're supposed to locate the botanist. So I think somewhere we have, may have passed the botanist. So I think what we need to do is kind of go back. I think we have to go back a ways. Um, I guess we can check along the shore, I guess, and see if there's anyone standing by the shore. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's head over to the shore area and see if there's anyone that we can find. Because we're supposed to locate a botanist. So I would assume, since we may have passed the botanist, we would have to check along the, the shores. I would... S I think... Honestly, I think it would probably be somewhere over here. It looks more like because there is something over here that we can check out and We do have someone with us. So that's actually really good. So that's cool. So we got a backup person Pretty good stuff location discover Pulia seaside fort. Yeah, a seaside fort definitely sounds like where a botanist would be so I guess Use control to enter stealth. Successful attacks that are ex uh, executed while undetected uh, undetected will deal bonus damage. You can find and use uh, def let's see, use de uh, deafen and blind spells to aid in stealth. So let's go ahead, get into hid mode, and see. Uh, let's pull our sword just in case, cause. You never know. And of course they see us, so... <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, shoot. Holy guacamole. Found ourselves in a very interesting situation here. if I can ah my goodness gracious where are you can I try and kick this man my goodness gracious okay well that's not good <clears throat> Of course, we are dead. That's not fun. Um, we'll load the game. Oh, we've got to see. Um, Wookie. Got some enemies up ahead. We'll go ahead and take care of them. Heck. Yeah, are you the botanist? Alrighty. 
come on. Come on. What the heck? <clears throat> we killed you. Go ahead and... Everything from you, take everything from you, and I take everything from you. There was one. Where'd that one dude go? There you are. You seem to be someone. Let's talk to you real quick. I don't recognize you, so I assume you've washed up on shore in a similar fashion to me and my colleagues. It seems we've stumbled into a fairly hostile environment. I'm known as Brune West. Um, we let's see, Well, Well Surf, Well, Well, Well Surf, I think. My expertise lies in crafting potions, and I'm also an intermediate uh, electromancer. Um, the environment most likely holds plenty of resources that could aid in our botany. Uh, once a safe and examination is established, I will certainly be conducting some research into the local. And uh, but until then, um. Searching for others as well. Let's see, would you mind if I traveled with you for now? In return, I'm more than happy to share some of my knowledge and uh, of potions with you once we find a safe location. <clears throat> Let's see. Ultramancy will be a useful asset against any water-based creatures uh, we may encounter on the shoreline. Uh, your intelligence and a skill set would be much appreciated. Uh, it's always good to meet someone who can appreciate the value of others. Uh, lead the way, I won't be far behind you. Alrighty, so what we will do is now we can head back up to the uh, base. So we'll head back up to the base. We found the person that we need. Let's check the map. So speak with the captain. So we found our person. Um, so let's go ahead and head back up to the base here. Let's actually do a save here. So we actually have a save at the uh, at the base. So we don't have to go back and redo everything. Um, but yeah, just a few a few behind. Yeah, so we'll do the, the thing, whatever. You know, editor. You know what to do. Obviously myself, but... Who knows? <clears throat> the others are clearly going up ahead. That's fine. We already know this. Thank you very much, kind sir. So now we have one other person that we can actually talk to because we already talked to everyone else um, about everything. So now we can talk to the um, our mage here. All right, survivors camp, and we already talked to uh, what's her name. We already know about what's her name, so we found one more person, so that's always good. Okay. So, yep, we know about her. She should right here, Xana Firmhall. Uh, accept. Yep. Okay. So now, now that we are here, let's actually go ahead and save the game. So we have a, so we have a save. So let's go ahead and we'll select that, we'll save, and we should have a save. So, save, yep, alright, there we are. So I'm see, yep, oops, shoot, um, add new. Oops, my bad. NPC YouTube. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we will... Hit save. Okay, so that's good. Good, good, good. Uh, voice chat is on. I'm not quite sure why voice chat is on. That is very weird. Um, how do we return that off? How do we turn the voice chat off? I don't. I don't very much want the voice chat 
on. Let's jump into settings real quick and see why that is. Um, do -lo do -lo do -lo do -lo do. Let's find. Find what is it that we are looking for? Input. Um, let's see. Do 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 do. Toggle voice chat. That is Y. So let's go ahead and hit Y again. And there we go. So that turns that off. Okay. I don't know why we hit Y. Um, so cool. So we have a flag. We've got a base now. There was one other person. Let's talk to let's talk to you over here. Um Okay, there we are. Back to normal. Let's talk to you. Let's see if you have anything. Uh, we were very fortunate to have you assist us in uh, reassembling uh, what was left of our group. Uh, previously mentioned that I would teach you how to make potions as a reward. Would you like to start learning? Sure. There are two main types of ingredients you will need to make a potion. The first, uh, first component is the various plants that you can harvest throughout Adelar, which we've been collecting a lot of plants. Pay attention while you are traveling and you will find an abundance of um, eligible plants. <clears throat> the second component is creature uh, gel gel gelatin. The most common way to obtain it is from killing various monsters, but you, you can also buy creature uh, gelatin from the merchants. Uh, once you have the ingredients, you will need to find a stove in order to brew the potions. I'll give you the resources you need to make a health potion, and you can use the stove next to me to try uh, yourself. Thanks for your help. Of course, it's the least I can do in exchange for your assistance. Okay, um, let's talk to... Let's talk to you, because you can travel with me. So, let's go ahead and travel together. Okay, so you're you're gonna travel with me, and then and how long have we been recording it for? Um, so let's see. So we got our base, we got everything here. Um, we did try to um discover the little area that we had gone to, and didn't have good good time doing that. Um, let's see. Search for an entrance to the mainland. So that's going to be a, another long travel right over there. So I think for now, uh, we'll go ahead and end off today's episode. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys do enjoy this series. This is part two. So again, if you guys want part three, let me know in the comments down below. I do plan to do more of these. Um, I, I'm off today and I'm off tomorrow. Um, I work the next two days and I've got after the next two days. Um, so I have Wednesday and Thursday, so I have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off again. So definitely, uh, work has been busy. I do try to do these episodes when I'm not um, when I'm not working, uh, just to make things a little bit easier for you guys. Uh, well, easier on me, so I'm not uh, worrying about work and stuff the next day. Um, but easier, easier on me, and then enjoyable for you guys. So that's what I like to do. That's what I like to do here. E uh, easier on me, enjoyable for you guys. <clears throat> that's what I try and do. So, um, again, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, we do have some more people. So one, two, three, four, five. We've got a total of five people now. So that's actually pretty dang cool. Um, so again, you know, if you guys did enjoy everything, let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead and. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to join the Discord, there is a social link that you guys can uh, check that out. That's got the Discord, the Twitter, the Instagram, all that stuff. Go ahead and put our sword away, because why not? Um, but yeah, so new person. So Xana, Xana Firm Hall. Go ahead and harvest this real quick. But yeah, so base has definitely now been um, now been put together so pretty cool stuff it's got a base and everything so yeah 
cool stuff. <clears throat> um, go ahead and just kind of go over here. Go ahead and get like maybe a thumbnail or something that kind of works maybe right there. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty cool stuff. So yeah, we got a base, got everything. Pretty cool stuff. Alrighty. So again, you know, leave a comment, do all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.